start selling your cosmetic product in the European Union, you need to get your products compliant with many regulatory requirements. And we are here to help you. In this video, you will get some important information about one of the tests that most cosmetic products need to undergo before they can be placed on the EU market. The Preservative Efficacy or Challenge Test. Why does any product contain preservatives? Preservatives are required to prevent product spoilage, to extend the shelf life of the product and to protect the consumers. That's also the case with cosmetics, so the preservative efficacy of the product needs to be evaluated. Cosmetic manufacturers therefore have to ensure that the product is firstly microbiologically acceptable and free from certain pathogens when it is produced, and secondly, ensure that the microorganisms introduced during normal product use will not adversely affect the quality or safety of the product. The latter depends on the product preservatives, and we test that by conducting a preservative efficacy test or a challenge test, which is also a part of the cosmetic product information files according to the EU Cosmetics Regulation 1223-2009. The challenge test consists of an artificial contamination of the finished product, followed by a subsequent evaluation of the decrease in contamination to levels ensuring predefined microbial limits. The microorganisms used in the challenge test are Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Staphylococcus aureus, Aspergillus brasiliensis and Candida albicans. These microorganisms are therefore artificially introduced into the product and their remaining concentration is determined after 7, 14 and 28 days. The product is considered to pass the preservative efficacy test if the concentration of the fungi do not increase over the testing period and if the concentrations of the bacteria are reduced sufficiently by day 14 and do not increase from that time until the end of the test. The international standard, which is also used in the EU, according to which the challenge test can be conducted, is ISO 11930-2019, while certain other validated methods are also acceptable. Certain cosmetic products are considered sufficiently microbiologically low risk, with the likelihood of microbiological contaminations very low or even non-existent, and needn't undergo the challenge test. The conditions under which the product is considered microbiologically low risk are described in the standard ISO 29621-2017. These products have the following characteristics. Products that don't contain water or have a sufficiently low water activity of the formulation. Highly acidic products with pH below 3 or highly alkaline products with pH above 10 products with more than 20% alcohol concentration, products containing raw materials that can create a hostile environment such as strong oxidizing agents, polar organic solvents, oxidizing dyes, aluminium chlorohydrate and related salts or propellant gases, products that are filled in containers at more than 65 degrees Celsius, Product packaged in pressurized containers, pump dispensers or single-dose units. Products with a combination of the factors that we mentioned. However, please note that any lack of challenge test must be duly justified in the product information file. In this video we talked about the function of preservatives and about how their effectiveness is tested. Manufacturers have to ensure that the product is microbiologically acceptable, free from certain pathogens once it's produced, and they need to ensure that the microorganisms introduced during normal product use will not adversely affect the quality or safety of the product. You also learned which products don't require the challenge test. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.